All right, so let's now answer this example here. It says, construct a graph from the information in the adjacency matrix below. So we're gonna take this information from the adjacency matrix and we're going to create for ourselves a graph. Now, the first thing that you need to take note of, and we'll write this down here, and that is there are an infinite correct graphs you could draw here. So let's write that down. There are an infinite, whoa, infinite correct graphs you could draw. So there isn't one right answer here because remember, you, you could literally put these points, these vertices anywhere. I'm just going to choose to put them in a simple square. So we've got A, we've got B, we've got C, we've got D. But would you not agree that I could put these vertices anywhere and then and link them up in multiple different ways? So there's an infinite amount of correct answers here. We're just going to do one of them. All right, A is A to A is zero. That means A doesn't have a loop, but A is connected to B. So let's just do a simple line from A to B. Uh, a is connected to C through two different ways. So we could do this. We could do one. Oh, that is so ugly. Let's try that again. We can go like this and that. And then A is connected to D. Not at all, because we've got zero there. B is connected to itself. Sorry, B is connected to A. Sorry, I got ahead of myself. B is connected to A. We've already got that information. B is connected to itself. B to B is that. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to do like a little loop like that. B is not connected to anything else. We've got all zeros there. C is connected to A through two ways. We've already got that. C is not connected to B. Fantastic. C is connected to C. So that means C has to have a loop with itself. We'll do that. Whoa. We'll do that. And then C is connected to nothing else. And D is connected to nothing at all. D is an isolated point, And that's because we've got all zeros there. And just like that, we are done. There is our nifty little graph. Uh, but remember, there are an infinite correct ways of doing this. And that's because I could have put those vertices anywhere. Hopefully you found this helpful and you understand what an adjacency matrix is.